Massive nail polish haul. Uh, 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 uh. This is a collective haul, <laughs> so it goes way back to um, the beginning of August. So some of them are gifts, and some of them are purchases. So, but it's all in a mix, and I sort of grouped them by brand. Here we go. <laughs> the first one is a amazing gift from my friend Tess. It is the. 2012 Holiday Joy Collection in Cheers. Cheers, hence the um, shot glass. And it has two sister polishes. Um, this is Angel Wings and this is Glistening Snow. Angel Wings is a gold and hollow glitter. Glistening Snow is a silver and hollow glitter. Yeah, that's, uh, they're quite densely packed actually so you can get these opaque. Love it! Thank you Tess! And the other china glaze I have is called Dorothy Who. Look at that sparkle! It is a blue polish with silver and blue glitter. I think that gives it a richness having the blue glitter as well as the silver and it's just so sparkly. Gorgeous blue. Love it. Let's move on to OPI. I have three OPIs. The first is DS Luxurious, du, 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 which is basically an orange red with gold shimmer. It's a reddish orange base, but then because of the gold shimmer in it, it kind of makes it more orangey than red. So I like that because I love orange polishes, especially rich oranges like this. So. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, the next one is Brisbane Bronze. I bought this one myself. It is just the perfect bronze. Look at that. It is gorgeous. The reason why I love this bronze over other polishes I looked at is that it's not a bit coppery. It's pure bronze. Oh, I'm actually wearing that one now with blue. Look at the shine of that bronze. It's gorgeous. So, yay. Ravenclaw nails. Did you notice Ravenclaw nails? Woo -woo. The third OPI is Oi, another Polish joke. I presume it's Polish, not Polish. <laughs> That's the joke, isn't it? As you can see, it is just a lovely warm, warm yellow gold and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't actually have gold like this. I have one Barry M gold and it's cooler toned. It's kind of very ordinary, but this, this is gorgeous. Nice. Uh, let's move on to Zoya. I have two Zoyas. The, the first one here is Sam. It doesn't look like it from the bottle, but as you can see in the swatch, it is a dark vampy red cream and it is gorgeous. These vampy colours are funny because in the bottle, like this one, it could almost look a bit brown, but it doesn't come out that way. Perfect vampy red. And the next Zoya is Lotus and it is a dusty, cool toned, kind of bluish purple, but kind of greyish purple. It's one of those dusty shades and it's hard to know where to put it. And the pink shimmer through it there kind of throws you off as well. It's so pretty though. Look at that pink shimmer. I think it's quite unique, really. Alrighty, I have the most amazing Orly ever. I saw Lindsay Does Nails. She swatched this and my jaw hit the ground. I thought, what? That is the most perfect fuchsia I have ever seen. It is a neon fuchsia pink cream and it is risky behaviour and it is lush. It's the brightest fuchsia I've ever seen, I would say. Love it! Okay, on to Essie. First is Rock at the Top. And as you can see, it is bling in a bottle. Bling, 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 bling. I need sparkles everywhere. Bling! And um, yeah, it's, uh, there's a mixture of sizes in there, but it's mostly fine glitter and hexes and they're all the same gold. It is dense enough 
for a one coat topper and you can get this opaque in two to three coats no problem it's just gorgeous really really quite amazing polish and the other essay I got is strut your stuff so this is a cobalt aqua blue cream uh, which that's how it's described and I think that's a perfect description really because it's not totally pure cobalt there's a teensy weensy bit of sea green in there but I'm not a big fan of blue green in terms of teal direction so this is a perfect blue for me absolutely love it and I got two essence polishes from my friend Linda thank you Linda and this first one is called Wonder Fuel number 23 and it's basically just a plum but with this gorgeous pearly blue shimmer through it which is just gorgeous and the other one is a topper from the nudes collection it's in a clear base uh, the glitter mix contains these little tiny bar glitters and regular glitters as well and there is um, rose gold silver and pastel yellow bar glitter in the same mix so it's kind of I think that's quite unusual actually very cool I got this orange red stargazer number 136 it's just an orange red cream now onto the indies are you ready for the most exciting one in my whole haul it is by dollish polish and it is called team salvatore if you don't know Vampire Diaries, <laughs> you won't know how exciting this is. But um, it refers to the Salvatore brothers, Stefan and Damon. They're both vampires, obviously. And this polish is inspired by them. And it is uh, a glitter mix in a clear base, so it's obviously a topper. But it's got red, silver and black. Normal silver glitter and square glitters as well that's pretty cool that's the first time i've ever had square glitters in a polish before so that's fun for me too love it love it i have this lovely lovely blue by cult nails and it is called mckizzle's schnizzle it's basically a bright blue cream but it's a soft blue as well so it's you've got the soft blue of the shade but it's also bright so that's pretty cool i like that next one is teeny weeny and it is called pretty unpolished sand art and you can see it's a matte glitter mix it used to be a clear base but I think that somehow the dye from the glitter has discoloured the clear base and it's no longer clear. It's kind of a bluey green. Bit unfortunate, but um, it can be built up and you wouldn't you would notice it on its own. This one, I have been wanting this one for years. It's been on my wish list for so long and somebody was just de-stashing it in my nail polish group and I had to get it straight away and it is flown and this is by Ninja Polish as you can see similarly it is a matte glitter mix but it's very densely packed uh, it basically builds up to kind of like a textured polish it's got matte neon blue and kind of a yellow green fine glitter and it's in a clear base and it is fab it's just so cool. It's nice to have something really, really different like that to, to wear. That is the end of my big haul. Well, it's big for me because, you know, I don't normally have a crazy amount of polish like this. <laughs> and thank you everybody for watching.